Hi. I just got back from picking up an order at the grocery store. It's chicken wings, nacho chips, queso. Ready for the big game. I don't know if you know this, but I'm from Florida. So the big game this time is like, woohoo! Yeah, we're fans. It's gonna be great. Awesome. The only way I'd be happier is if it was uh, the Chicago Bears. That's because that's where I grew up, but it's okay. We can cheer for a Florida team. You know, being a cheerleader and a fan, it's kind of like being a good friend. Encouraging, cheering people on. Yeah, that's kind of what friendship is, right? Let's see what the story's about today. Now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter four, verse 32. Sally Jessup and May Lynn lived in the same town and went to the same school. And both girls had YouTube shows about slime that racked up views from across the world. Get slimed with May! Sally's Slime Creations. The two girls were polite to each other in the hall at school. Hey there. Hi. But they weren't exactly friends either. I'm doing glow in the dark slime next week, so you should do something different. Look, I give my viewers what they want. Which is basically the same thing over and over. Rainbow sand slime, rainbow unicorn slime, rainbow crunchy slime. You're just jealous how many views my rainbow glitter slime got. Whatever. Plus, you use borax in your slime. It's not safe. Is too. Liquid starch is way better. The two girls glared at each other and marched off. A few days later, May watched Sally's newest episode. Sally's Slime Creations. She really should get better theme music. Here's a super important PSA before we get started. You've probably seen some slime recipes that use borax, but borax isn't safe or healthy. Hey, that is not true. I know there's another YouTube show telling you to use borax for the best slime, but in my opinion, you should just unsubscribe to that channel. And now it's time for some rainbow fluffy slime. You have got to be kidding. Sally just told thousands of people to stop watching my show. Well, I am unsubbing her right now. May couldn't stop thinking about what Sally had done. I cannot believe her. In the cafeteria at school the next day, Sally walked over to where May was sitting with some other friends at the lunch table. Can I sit here? No way, she can't sit here. When Sally spilled her backpack at the lockers. Oh no. May pretended not to notice and marched right on past. That evening, when May recorded her next episode, she had an announcement of her own. Today on Get Slime with May, I've got an amazing guest to tell us all about the science of slime. But first, I need to warn you about another slime channel. Someone's telling you not to use Borax. Well, you should hit unsubscribe fast because she's a liar. Borax is completely safe and makes the best slime. Now it's time to welcome our guest, Wendy Newton. She's a chemistry expert. May switched to a split screen with her guest, a middle-aged woman with wild curly hair and sleepy eyes. Hi, Wendy. Welcome to the show. I'm honored to be here. I gotta ask, you think borax is the best thing to use for slime, right? Borax is great if it's used correctly. I think God has given each of us the smarts to look up safety guidelines and be wise about it. Oh, yeah, of course. So let's get down to it. You're a chemist, how cool is that? You could say we're all chemists. I mean, just baking brownies is chemistry. That's right. What kind of chemistry are you whipping up for your dinner? Oh, well, it's actually, uh, uh, uh 3 a.m. here. Wait, what? I'm in Dubai right now. But that's like halfway around the world, so it's night. I, oh, I am so sorry. I woke you up. It's all right. You said that in your email. I forgot. It's okay, really. You're being so nice about it. Hey, kind is cool. There's this verse in the Bible from the book of Ephesians. It's kind of my motto. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, 
just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. May frowned. She had to admit she wasn't always great at being kind when someone made her angry. Look, I've messed up so many times and God has wiped the slate clean every single time. That makes it a lot easier to forgive when other people make mistakes. Like calling in the middle of the night? Hey, aren't we a little off topic from slime? Um, I think I'm gonna have to restart this recording. I said some stuff about someone else I need to delete. And how about I call you back in the morning? I mean, my morning, your afternoon. Hmm, hmm, that sounds fantastic. May leaned back in her chair and released a long breath. I haven't been very kind at all, even a little. Grabbing her phone, May started a DM to Sally. Hey, I'm sorry about the lunch table thing. I think Rainbow Slime is pretty cool. Maybe we should do a show together sometime. May wasn't sure how Sally would respond. But she did feel better knowing that she'd taken the steps toward being kind, instead of focusing on payback. So yeah, that's kind of it, being a fan. You know, in Ephesians 4.32, it says, Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another just as God forgave you because, well, of what Christ has done for you. Think about it. We didn't earn it, and he died for us. That's kind of the ultimate friend. So be kind to others because God is kind to you. He's not going to punish us if we believe in Jesus Christ as our savior. That's pretty awesome because none of us are perfect, but through Christ, we're made perfect. So be kind to others because God is kind to you. So be a fan for one another, cheer each other on, just like I bet you're all gonna be doing this next weekend with the big game. Oh yeah, the big game. See you there. Have a great day. Bye.